Hello, hello, hello. This is Angela Logan with Everyday Shenanigans, and I am going to bring you more shenanigans, honey, because you should know I surely will. Yes, I'm getting ready to talk about the infamous Mr. Antonio Brown, who is no longer on a team with the NFL League, and the story goes kind of like this. He has levied at least eight grievances against the NFL and a excuse me, eight grievances appeals against the NFL, one citing being if they decide to flip the coin and dispute the payout to him because of the contract naturally that he signed, um, they could cite him for breach of conduct a personal conduct which is a violation when you sign your contract so if he appeals then that would be like nine grievances total but he went on a Twitter tirade basically making uh, accusations against the Patriots owner uh, Mr. Robert Kraft that last year he had a misdemeanor charge of solicitation to a prostitute so he basically was saying hey this man had a charge a sexual misdeed and you ought to make a big stink about it so why are you coming down hard on me well lo and behold mr brown deleted that comment on social media and so now a espn source has said that Kraft will never write that check considering what was said in that tweet about his uh, former ch misdemeanor charge of solicitation to prostitution. Another source is saying that this, uh, with Yahoo Sports is saying, this situation shall go into 2020 because now you've got all these grievances that Mr. Uh, Brown has levied against the NFL for his monies owed. And right now the, the money is standing at a total of about $61 million with the Raiders and Patriots. Let me say this because you know I'm going to pull these focus off because I don't have to read anything right about now. <sighs> I could chew my paw off. It seems like day for day I have to get on this box and give you all an update about Mr. Antonio Brown. It seems like every day there is some shenanigans going on with him and social media and a court appearance and something he said and something he did. And I want to thank him because you know what? That helps me get my name out there. Okay? But it's sad. It's very sad. And as I have stated in my previous videos about Mr. Brown, I feel like he's a very ungrateful human being and he doesn't care much about anyone because he doesn't care about himself. And that usually goes hand in hand. If you don't care about yourself, you couldn't possibly care about others. I don't know what the pan out's going to be with the NFL giving him his money. We will see how that pans out. But I think it's sad because these are choices that he has made. It is not as if someone has, you know, uh, set him up on doing some wrongdoing or... Uh, took something from him all these things and allegations that have come forward are situations that he participated in and I think that if he had a better character a better disposition about himself that one he would still be in the league playing two he wouldn't have these allegations of uh, non-payment to the doctor trashing the apartment down in Miami well sunny Isles, excuse me Florida and nor would you have these women coming forward saying you touched them you groped them you pulled out this you did that you see if you were careful about the company you kept and you acted as a gentleman you probably wouldn't have anyone suing you for any sexual misdeeds you've really brought all this stuff on yourself and you can see that there's a pattern because you see you don't just keep getting sued by people various people who don't have a dog in the race that's what everyone needs to realize is that all these people who have something to say about Antonio Brown had a personal dealing with him one way or another. But yet they do not know each other. I doubt the two ladies with the sexual assault claims know each other. They don't know Mr. Kraft. They don't know the people out west on the Raiders team. They don't know the doctor on the East Coast suing for his $11,500. And nor do they know the people that own the apartment complex down in Sunny House, Florida. You see where I'm going with this? These are all different people who've had a personal dealings with Mr. Brown. And that's the moral of the story. Mr. Brown is his own worst enemy. 
And he has brought all this to fruition on his own. And it was his choice. I'll keep you all updated because I don't want to linger much on shenanigans, especially that type of shenanigans, because when you start to talk about the same person day for day, weekly or whatever, it's it becomes just like it's redundant already. I'm like two weeks in on this man making a video and a video about something he's done or said through social media or accusations that have been uh, brought against him. And it's very sad and it's disturbing because it's you don't want to think the worst of people. But what I always tell people is that you don't know people. So when you hear these things about them, you know, it's up to you to make your decision, weigh the evidence that's, you know, against them. But you don't know people. And a lot of you who like athletes, musicians, actors, whatever, we put these people on pedestals at some point or another when probably we should not. There's nothing wrong with liking their work, but also know that they are human and that they are flawed. And that's the gist of the story, baby. To the next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for listening. Thanks for liking. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, baby. Big Ange loves you, and she will definitely be back with more shenanigans, baby. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.